up to six minutes to seven. Now, rain and midgey free visits to the Highlands are being guaranteed in a new tourism venture. Thousands of cyber tourists are visiting a virtual version of the area in cyberspace, and early indications show that many are going on to sample the real thing. Well, we sent Jackie O'Brien on a virtual tour to find out more. All right, then, so let's have a go here. We've just arrived in Inverness City. What can we see? Well, okay, let's uh, first of all we'll walk up Academy Street here, and as you can see there are various retailers. Um, most of these retailers are selling in-world products for avatars, so if you want to dress up like a Scottish Highlander, yes, this is where you buy it, for instance. In Tour guide time. Tony Harmsworth started working on a computer-generated Great Glen after becoming housebound following a stroke. Three years on, his virtual Highlands stretches from Inverness down Loch Ness to Fort Augustus and Loch Oich. We've also got a working set of lock gates here. So the Jacobite cruises that run on Loch Ness, and uh, there's one of them just approaching the Abbey, they can actually go through the lock gates and up into Loch Oik. Several local businesses, including bed and breakfasts and a Loch Ness visitor centre, are advertising on the virtual Scottish Highlands project. You can rent a shop in the area for just a dollar a week. A double room for the 10th and the 11th of August, yes, we do have that available. Margaret Hart of the Bluebell Guest House in the Highland capital can also be found there, trying to lure customers from cyberspace. I think it's a really good idea. It's also an idea of the future, and I'm very happy to be part of it. And I think it shows that Scotland can be innovative in the same way that many other nations can, and I hope it really works. It's starting to, but these things do take a while. I suppose the, the image you have of a Highland landlady is not somebody who's... Uh, cyberspace friendly. <laughs> Do you feel that you can keep up to date with the, the, the advances in technology? Um, absolutely, I think it is the way forward and I think for me myself and although I'm one of your traditional Highland land ladies, I would really look at this sort of thing for myself for booking a holiday for my husband and I. And there's nothing virtual about your full cooked breakfast? Nothing at all, it's all real in real time. It's been formed in a virtual world known as Second Life. Users design an avatar, a computer-generated representation of themselves, to live their second life online. It may seem like just another web game to some, but Second Life has 16 million users, and the developers say that the potential tourist market, which is larger than Denmark, Belgium and Ireland combined, is too big to ignore. Visitors have so far come from the US, Canada, Japan and South America, all lapping up some of Scotland's most stunning scenery in 3D. And people do that. Uh, we, we have people who just... Uh arrive and they'll be standing there uh, or sitting on the side of the lock and uh, you know we observe what's going on and what people like to do and our lock week sim that we created just earlier this year is just absolutely stunning really really beautiful uh, when you've got the sunset reflecting off the water and if you're living in a suburb of Buenos Aires and you're able to do that that's got to be good, good for Scotland. Among the attractions are a Gaelic exhibition run by Gaelic-speaking Canadians and a pub with live Celtic music. Bradley Norris of the Inverness Guest House Association believes it's as close as visitors will get to the real thing. It's slightly more different to have a virtual experience rather than just reading something in a book or listening to somebody else's experiences. I think the, the virtual world um, puts you in the situation and you can sort of try and, try and get a taste of what you might expect when you arrive here. But no rain or no midges? No rain and no midges, definitely. <laughs> Although there's no sunshine either. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I knew there was going to be a catch somewhere. No midges would work for me, though. Yeah, indeed. Sounds like a typical day in the Highlands. It Not. certainly does. <laughs> Travel news now from Nemo Spence.